와! 아, 너네 이거 뭐 월파로 왼쪽. 월가 go ahead and use Marion Webster's vocabulary builder. vocabulary builder. So let's get this started with variety people. First off, here's the thing. Today it's unit one, and we're just gonna talk about like each word, and then from there on, we're just gonna go ahead and like give you guys some examples of each word. So here we go. Basically, uh, the thing about Bena is that, okay, so here's the first root. Bena. Bena is like Latin, and it comes, it means well and fine. And so it's like there's this benediction, benefactor, beneficiary, and benevolence. That is all really good and interesting too here, so let's just go ahead and start doing things the right and correct way. So what happens next? Well, next up, like, yeah, so we have benediction, benefactory, beneficiary, and benevolence. Also, we have another root called am, which actually comes from the Latin word amer, which basically means like to love and to be friendly. You're like, Friends, friends, -da -da! and of course we have like a bunch of words that come from this, like amicable, enamored, amorous, and paramour. Next up, we have this other root called bell, which basically means war. Now, bell and this like war, basically like it's basically war, like bell, bellum. I believe that's her name. Bellona, the not so very well known Roman goddess of war, basically is like the like the wife of Mars, the god of war, and that's actually where we get the word bell war from. We have like anti bella bellicos and belligerence and rebellion. Viva la revolution! Viva la rebellion! Viva la rebellion! Viva la rebellion! Viva la rebellion! Those kind of things. Next up, we talk about. Pack. Now, pack is interesting. Like, peace, agree. Yeah, here we go. So, pacify, pacifist, pack, pace. This is all really interesting and well, too. So, let's just go ahead with this. So, there we go. So, next up, we have to talk about criminology. The fault, the accusation, and all those kinds of things. So, let's start off with, like, the criminology. Decriminalize, you're incriminating people, you're recriminating people. Those kinds of things. Yay! So, what next do we have here? Okay, so, crime actually means your full accusation. You're being, like, told about a crime, those kinds of things. All right, next up, our sixth fruit is like prob, the proof, which means the prob, which actually is like, it basically means proof and integrity, like like your probability of like your proving of someone, those kinds of things. Uh, we also have the word, okay, so this is where we get the words approbation, probate, probity, and reprobate comes from. All right, the seventh root is grav. Well, grav itself basically means heavy and serious. Like, I mean, it kind of makes sense because gravity is all like, it's what makes things heavy. Like, gravity is this, okay, I'm not going to use this. Uh, gravity is basically what makes things fall and f make them feel a weight. Like, oh, this is heavy and this is like a bit, he like this is heavier than this. Or are they just the same weight? I have no idea. Okay, that's definite. This one's a little bit heavier. I mean, watch this. Oh, there we go. Anyways, also really interesting here with that too. So, pro property, reprobate, graph. Graph is also where we get the words gravity from. Grave. We also get the word grave from. Gravitas, gravity, and... Dun, 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 aggravate! Okay, next up, we have to talk about lev. Now, lev basically comes from the Latin word levis, which you might actually recognize, because it basically means light, and so we get the words levitation. Levitation effect will end in 20 seconds. 20 seconds? I'll be dead by then. Ah, ah sucks for you, I guess. Good luck. Bye-bye. No! Oh, yeah, that's a, God, that really sucks in my opinion. So that what happens. Okay, so we have okay, so we have alleviate elevation cantilever. Yeah, so we get the, the words alleviate elevation cantilever and levity from this word lev root lev. Notice here that the, all these roots I've discussed here right now were actually all Latin. To be honest, this was much of a coincidence. We're just gonna talk about other Greek roots in like next like next following units. Now, probably not next unit, I have no idea, I haven't read it yet, but sometime in the next unit, we'll put in more Greek roots in it, and then again, Greek came from Latin, so that kind of makes sense, right? And some of these words, actually, we got it from French, like bon, like bon, like sometimes, some of the English words we got from French, which is a Latin-based language, a Romance language, as we call it. Why do we call it that? I have no idea. Alright, next up, we have to talk about, like, words from mythology and history. Words from mythology and history. This is actually my favorite here. Like, Cicero and Hector, Hedonism, Nestor, Spartan, Steronian, Stoic, and Symbaric. Cicero basically is from, like, the root to better, where you're just, like, a guide. You're guiding someone. You're like, yeah, I'm the best person here. I'll be your best guide forever, people. That kind of thing. And so, next, we have the word Hector. 
Now, Hector itself is like to bully or harass someone. It's like personal. And it actually comes from like a bunch of English people who decided that they just wanted to bully them, bully other people. They were just like old retired veterans who were like retired from the army. Like they were sent or said, your military service is complete. And then they decided to start harassing random 17th century people. And they created these little gangs. They called themselves like the Blades, the Bloods. And one of them actually called them the called themselves the Hectors. But then again, the Blades and the the Hectors actually make kind of much sense because they have mainly fought with swords. Uh, next up, we have hedonism. Hedonism is basically like the an aptitude, attitude, or way of life based on the idea that pleasure or happiness should be the literal chief goal. Oh, that all happens. Yeah, hedonism that all works too. It's just like the attitude or the way of life, and it's like based on the idea of happiness and things. It's like the perfect life you can literally get. Uh, we also have the next word Nestor, which is like a senior figure or leader in like one's field. Like if you are Nestor in YouTubing, that basically means you are a senior fig. You're like a really really good person. Like Mr. Beast is a Nestor of YouTube, and PewDiePie for ten for about ten years has been the Nestor of YouTube. Sort of. I mean, Mr. Beast took, went over Creepy Pie this year, like last year. Yay! Go, Mr. Team, Mr. Beast, Team. Uh, yeah. Next up, we have Spartan. Spartan is like actually the word actually derives from a country, like a city state in from Greece. Spartan, Sparta, and all those Spartans, they're manly, they're muscly, they literally, they literally have bunch of abs, like. This one got <laughs> What am I doing? That all happens. And basically, it just means that that person's like smooth, they're flowful, and they really don't really worry about it that much. And so we have stoic. This other word, stoic, basically means like seemingly indifferent to a pleasure or a pain. You're like, you don't care about the pain or pleasure too. Then we have sybaritic, which basically means marked by a luxurious or sensual way of life, which is. Pretty bad, which is like, well, like when, when I knew them, they were living a severity existence, hoping from resort to resort, hopping from resort to resort, each more smaller than last, but a year later, the money ran out. That's basically an example of using the word sebaric. Also comes from, the, the, the word actually comes from the name of an ancient city called Sebaris, which is near modern Terranova di Sebario, wherever that is, which is somewhere in Italy, apparently. And that's about it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys soon. Until next time, shout out. Peace. Bye-bye. Peace. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Wear a helmet so that this does not happen.